heat exchanger, which mm -hmm. is using hot fluid. To deal with the carbon dioxide of our industrial age, there is an equally technical fix. These pipes, valves and tanks at Imperial College London can capture 500 tonnes of the greenhouse gas every year, scale up the plant and it could trap carbon emissions from whole power stations and then store them underground. Only political will is holding back its rollout. Where you will then start to remove CO2 from the atmosphere and to and in so doing, you can offset emissions from hard to reach point sources like aviation or shipping or transport. And then in due course, as we transition to a net zero economy, so we're not emitting any greenhouse gases anymore, you can start net removing CO2 from the atmosphere and helping to clean up the, the, the mess made by historical CO2 emissions. But some scientists are so alarmed by the pace of climate change that they're considering even more radical fixes that actually repair the climate. A former chief scientific advisor to the government said reducing carbon emissions to zero will take too long. More urgent action is needed. The global political system, humanity as a whole, has not reacted to this enormous danger. So now we have to consider other means of controlling our climate systems. So it is a sign of our failure to deal with the problem? It absolutely is a sign of our failure. Options for cooling the Earth include aircraft flying at 60,000 feet that create a cloud of sulfur dioxide to shield us from the sun's heat, ships that pump salt water into the sky to whiten the clouds so they reflect more sunlight back into space and allow polar ice to reform, and scattering iron fertilizer on the sea to trigger a bloom of algae that absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Hacking the climate doesn't get us off the hook. We still need to change our lifestyles, to drive electric, to fly less, to cut back on red meat. The science is clear. To fix global warming, we need to stop pumping out so much carbon dioxide. Engineering the climate could have unintended consequences. Altered weather patterns could cause drought. Dimming the sun could reduce crop yields. But scientists are now so concerned by the impact of global warming that many now believe it's worth the risk. Thomas Moore, Sky News.